All right, hello everyone. My name is Dan Zinda, and welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis 4, where we play as Galra, and we're gonna actually see a mercenary unit right over there. Let's disband him straight away, because that costs a massive amounts of money. Uh, yeah, actually, France is in an, uh, in a war with Austria, and that might give us an opportunity to go to war with Friesland. But we still have to... Uh, ah, Poland has set Austria's arrival. We still have to wait. Because I think Austria is still a bit too powerful for us to attack Friesland just yet. Problem is that uh, Austria would jump in. Because we have been warned by Austria not to go to war with any of our neighbors. Somewhat annoying, but fair enough. Uh, let's repay a loan. And let's actually repay this one as well. That will help with our economy here. The nice thing is that Friesland is already in a war, so it would really help us a lot if we were, we, we were to be able to, uh, excuse me, uh, declare on Friesland. France has just been uh, defeated here. Diplomat has died. Does that mean that we have no advisors? Yes, it does. Actually don't have any money to uh, get this guy, even. Well, it does mean that we can now stack up on some money. So that's great. We might be able to get a different advisor. I do want to get into a military tech for a bit. We can invest in a cabinet, diplomatic relations, actually. That would be nice. Although we would need to delay our diplomatic tech once again. I don't really care, I think, so let's do it. Diplomatic relations, plus one. Yes, there we go. Great. Now, let's see what this does for us. Is there anything that we can do? Royal marriage with Poland. Alliance would probably not work. No, because we already have a powerful ally in France. Savoy is also a new ally of ours. So that's great. I would also like to ally Aragorn. Because they are allied with France as well. Royal marriage would work. Uh, Aragorn is too powerful. Then I don't think royal marriage would be uh, good anyway. No, let's not do that. Right. So we'll just uh, lay low. Only four here. Yeah, we really need this guy, I think. Spy offense. Yeah. Ugh. Massive army here. So Austria still has powerful allies, even though they themselves only have 30,000 troops. Still quite a lot, though. Let's see how France is doing. Uh, 52,000 troops. So they should be able to uh, best them somehow. But I'm not sure where those troops are. Uh, here. In Provence. Interesting. Uh, can we go to... Uh, um, current Wars. Let's see. Now, yeah, Provence, Munster, Hungary, Austria. I haven't been called into this war, so that's fine with me. Truce expired with Anhalt. Fine as well. But still, not much we can do. Uh, I'm happy that we are now actually uh, gaining some money at least. Let's hire this guy then. Better than nothing. We still we need really need those diplomatic points. Noble Republic. Nice. Let's check up the peace with Savoy. Savoy will know all treaties with France. Oh boy. Okay. Why did you not protect them, France? Friesland no longer considers Galra as a rival. Really? Would be nice if we could just diplo vassalize them, but I don't think that's gonna work. They would need to drop this hostile attitude. No, they won't. Okay, that is fair enough. Uh, what is I doing again? Right, oligarch republic, noble republic. Interesting stuff here. Let's see what it can do once we get it. Switzerland no longer in a war. No, it isn't. But that also means that Verdun will jump in. 
lots of debt. Austria also has a lot of debt, but we still jump in. It's close, though. Almost not jumping in here because of war exhaustion. We are almost at our cap, so I think that will allow us to uh, get this mission. 90%. Yeah, almost there. Let's wait for that, at least, before you do anything. And let's uh, do some uh, improving of relations. I hope that France can still beat Austria in this here. That would be nice. Let's also increase relations with England, by the way. England land. Right. Disputed succession for Ubino. <laughs> they would accept an alliance. That's interesting. Manpower is still recovering. We're almost there. We're getting close. Alright, with Verdun. Verdun likes us. Whew. Still difficult. Difficult stuff. And a slow game. Very slow. France improved relations is done. France lost another battle there. France isn't doing all too well. They are recruiting quite a lot of people. So that is nice. Is this all that they have left? That wouldn't be very nice. Armies, let's see. France. 41,000. Yeah, it's, it's a difficult war for them. Still, they have managed to um, weaken Austria quite a bit. And I think in 83, we will be able to declare war without uh, calling Austrian because uh, then we are no longer warned by them. Am I correct? 84 even, jeez. So annoying. Could declare on uh, Austria itself. One stability, nice. No, let's not do that. Right, so still, still not doing much. At least we'll almost have this quest done. And we are making money. Keep coming back to the same things. We did increase our diplomatic relations, so that is great. Actually, England likes us now. Very nice. I like to rival, though. And once our provinces. Saxony has a disputed succession. And we do have a royal marriage there. We keep an eye on that. Not the same royal di uh, dynasty, though. Okay, Austria is now spreading here. Luxembourg is actually not occupied by France anymore. So France is having a difficult time. Military exit from Austria. Ah! France will cede the Rethel and Calais to Austria. <laughs> Jeez, what have you done, France? Why? It was such a good opportunity for us, and then you go around and screwing it all up. Uh, fine. Military axis. Well, I guess we'll just give them that. I'm not sure what they will be doing, but... I uh, probably want to get home. Munster has announced Gelra as a rival. And we'll just decline you, then. Manpower recovered. Nice. Austria no longer considers Bohemia as a rival. France as a rival. Let's see. Mission Aachen's opinion of Gelra is at least 100%. That would be good if we were able to uh, vassalize them, but you know, allied with Lorraine actually. They didn't have any alliances yet. Uh, solidify people. No, let's uh, do this then. Rival of our rival. Aachen, here we come. We won't offer an alliance. I guess it's a matter of waiting until uh, the warning uh, has gone. In the meantime, though, Austria still hates us. Let's uh, actually uh, improve relations with them as well, once we're done here. Not sure if Aragorn would be nice. No, it's not gonna work anyway. Let's get this guy back home. England likes us a bit more now. Friesland does now rival us again. Austria would still jump in. Oh, they're so close, though. Austria's 1633 in debt. Manpower is low as well. But Verdun would jump in, and we wouldn't have any uh, guys here. 
truce with Friesland, right. France wouldn't jump in. The Hansa probably also truce with Friesland, yes. How about Munster, though? Vassal of Austria. Okay, didn't expect that, and it's a bit of a problem for us. Cologne, let's see. The Hansa would jump in, but so would all of their allies. <sighs> Where's our ships, by the way? Still protecting trade. Yes. Yes, they are. I don't see a lot of ways out here. That is the big problem that we have. Munster, Austria. Call to arms. Savoy. Florentine. Conquest of Nice against Florence. Defensive war. Hungary, England, Aragon, and Mantua. Mm. I'm not sure if that's uh, a good idea here. Let's see. Genoa, Mantua, and Gower. No, we won't. We won't be able to win that. Let's decline. That was Savoy again. That is just the nature of how we are playing currently. We need to get alliances up and running, but at some point, those alliance uh, allies will ask us for the impossible. We won't fight a war against England. Come on. England, let's see. 21,000. They aren't all that powerful, to be fair. It's a shame that uh, uh, Savoy has actually just lost the alliance with uh, France. Otherwise, it would have been a viable war, probably. Let's get this up uh, even higher. I want to get to 84. Lost a claim on Munster. That is fine, because they are a vassal anyway. Let's improve relations with Austria. I hear something. Ah, we can build improvements. Local tax modifier. Not all that impressive. Not impressive. Mm, tree power. Could be nice. Still not all that impressive, I think. Local manpower would be nice, by the way. So expensive, jeez. Let's wait. Once again. Warning is valid for March. That is actually right now. In that case, let's increase our maintenance. I don't know why that happened. I think it has something to do with their um, diplomatic uh, stuff. Okay, let's see. Ella with East Friesia. I don't really care about those guys. Uh, let's get one man at arms. Ready to go. And if there is only one ally that could jump in here, then this would probably be interesting. It would still piss off Austria, of course, but recall. Haken, yes. No, it's not going to work, I think. Okay, so we are now able to declare without calling Austria? No. Still warned by Austria. How about this guy then? So now all of a sudden it's uh, valid again? This is so strange. Now it's 84 again. I'm confused. Let's speed it up and we'll see. Right, they're just walking through a territory. Let's uh, recall. Let's revoke military access there. They probably won't like us for that. England is interesting now, by the way. Royal marriage. No alliance. But we could royal marriage them. But I, I think I like France more than uh, England at this point. Enemies Denmark, France, and Aragon. Uh, royal marriage with Castile, though. We could flip over to the other side. Aragon has won some stuff here, it seems. Galicia is uh, on its own. Very interesting. No, won't work, won't work. 
How's Austria currently? 28,000. Low manpower, though, so that is interesting. Hot with Verdun still. Sort of getting boxed in by Austria here. We need a way out. Perhaps uh, along these lines here. Although the Hansa's here. Oldenburg is an ally. But perhaps we would be able to vassalize them at some point. Uh, let's accept the war. Do we have army maintenance up? Yes, we do. Would this work? That would be so lame. But I think it will. There we go. Yeah, they have, they have the penalty now. Okay. Ah. I won't complain. We'll lose some manpower here, but that's fine. We'll still win this battle, at least. <clears throat> yes. Yes, they are gone. Okay. We'll have to wait before uh, this is all replenished, but that's fine. Losing money. Okay. Still the warning, though. So let's speed it up again. Lots of fighting going on here. Bohemia is in war with Brandenburg, Mecklenburg, Brunswick, and Riga. Jeez. Bad luck, guys. Okay, it's uh, 18... 1483 now. And we got another mission finished. Now there isn't much we can do, I think. Don't really care about the papal influence. It's a shame, but oh well. Enemies Castile, Austria, and England. Jeez. And I'm allied with them. I don't know. One hundred. That would get it to sixty-four. Might be able to get there. And then I like a steel as well. No, I don't think that would work. Because of the distance. Uh, I don't know. Muscovy is Austria's uh, enemy now. Poland as well. Royal marriage. No alliance. Because of France. The Hansa. <laughs> Uh, a lot of thinking to do here, guys. A lot of thinking. No one would jump in here. Because of the truce. So really, our only chance is to... Uh, take Utrecht. It's a shame that France is in that recall diplomat with Austria. Let's uh, increase our relations with Saxony. Even though there haven't been much of a help to us. Uh, or is our fleet still out? Yes, it is. Can we build another sh two ships? Yes, let's do it. Get our navy up and running. Can invest in artillery. Artillery, excuse me. There we go. Okay, this is an important change here. Let's... Create mortars. 130 days, yes. Let's create two and then let's disband. Actually, let's wait. Okay. Um, if we. No, oh, these guys already have. Don't have any artillery though in their army. And how about Friesland? Seven as well. One artillery. Artillery. Ar artillery. Right difficult to pronounce are we still warned by Austria yes we are okay I guess we'll wait on those uh, artillery units anyway and there they are at least one and now the warning is almost gone I think let's move over here another technology 
And that will allow us to invest in a different technology as well. Uh, we'll wait for that on that. Uh, recall diplomat. Anyway, we can uh, vassalize you. Economic base. No, let's not do it. So, okay, let's see. Still Austria. You're massively in debt. Which is great. We are now losing money as well because of the... Uh, uh, army uh, size. Uh, let's see. Are we still being warned by Austria? Just one more month. Now the question becomes, can we declare... And can they actually... Insta warn us again? Whoops. No! <laughs> okay. That's a bit stupid. I thought the game was paused, but it wasn't. Um, still, though. So close and not accepting. Are they in a war? Yeah, they are in a war. Okay. How much troops do they have? 25,000 still. We could try it. Right. Uh, I don't think it really matters that we uh, didn't get that. We'll see. It's a bit stupid, I admit. I'm not even sure if that would have worked anyway. I don't like this warning system. It's a bit gimmicky to me. Uh, but we'll see. What would happen? Could we... The Hans of Saxony and Oldenburg would all jump in with me. Um, so actually, we might stand a chance. East Frisia is here. That would be... Uh, well, we'll see. I think we'll try and uh, see in the next episode. Uh, it's a bit of a shame that I uh, let that slip by, that one moment that we had. Uh, but it doesn't really matter, I think. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I think we can still declare. We'll see you in the next episode. In any case, thank you guys for watching for now. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you. Bye-bye.